first viewer gamba of the league, pretty much. I think we did some random gem valing, but this is a full tab of a hand of the High Templar. Dennis self farmed this in uh, Uber Cyruses. He does not care about white sockets, so we're not gonna jewel or them up. And he traded me these Valorbs, so. What are the rules? How do we do this? When do we stop? Or we just like play it by ear. If you get two good ones, we stop, three good ones, whatever. I don't get really how many implicit, but we should stop like 10 plus div worth of, worth of hands. Okay, so we just, if they roll two or three really good ones, we might stop. If they're like all bad, we can keep going. All right, let's go. Nothing, 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 nothing. Attack speed, nothing, dead. Attack speed already, let's go. Warcry, aura. Okay, put this aside for now. We'll continue this later. That is dead. Life, dead, dead. Curse, temp chains. Attack crit? Okay, that's weird. Put it aside. Warcry minion. Oh, you can roll minion now on this, right. This is perfect for my projectile minion Warcry build. Put this aside. This one started with Ellie Week, so this could be good. Ellie Week plus from Frenzy. Nice. We'll put that aside. Cast speed, dead. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Vuln, dead. Okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. Plus two curse. Nothing, 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 nothing. Duration. That could be okay soon. No, it's dead. Nope, nope. Dead. Dead. And feeble. Trap and mine. Curse. That. No. What is this combo? Hardcore combo. Okay, dead. Plus one. Okay, that's the first plus one. <gasps> plus one, plus two AoE. All right, that's a start. Cast speed, trap or mine. Dead. 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 Insta dead. Insta dead. Oh my god. Duration, war cry, spell crit. Okay, spell crit duration might be okay. Dead. Spell crit. Dead. Okay, AoE, dead. Frenzy, Vuln, okay. Maybe, dead. Spell crit, dead. Duration only, nope, nope. Projectile, attack crit, okay. Nothing, 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 dead. Very cool. Minion. Minion projectile. That ate a lot of orbs <clears throat> after that minion. Warcry curse. Oh my god, it's dead. Oh my god, that's also dead. And everything is dead. All right, Dennis, what now? We have an aura attack speed. Those two together are one divine. This is temp chains attack crit, also one divine. Frenzy Eliwig, that's really good. 1.5 divine. But do those have like other stuff? Oh, this is like fully filled out. This also has spell crit. A clean frenzy elevic is too divine. So this is four so far. This is a plus three. Probably the best clean plus three that there is. This is plus, this is five divines. And this one has attack speed too. Uh, so this one has huge potential. We are at around eight, nine divines. Frenzy Vuln is one divine-ish, yeah. And Proj Attack Crit is half divine, one divine also. So we're, we're at we're at 10, 10 divines probably, 10, 11, 12, something like that. Keep volling all of them except the plus three. All right, wait, what about this? Oh, this one, this one, this is stupid. Projectile Minion Warcry, this is terrible. It's dead, okay. So, the Temp Chains attack crit one. Ah, bricked. Okay. The Aura attack speed one. 
got ES. That might be a keep. The Frenzy Ellie Week one got Temp Chains too. Ellie Week will apply over Temp Chains, but for a dual curse build, that could be cool. Um, Frenzy Vaughn got Cast Speed. That gains some value as well. And then the Proj Attack, pr proj attack Crit got Trap or Mine. That's. No, that's not. No. It's that. Alright, we got four usable ones. I'm gonna need you to clear your inventory. Because this is full. One implicit more. Go. Wait, on which one? Fuck it. All of them? Even the plus three? Uh oh. Yep. Okay. We'll leave the plus three for last. So, Vaughn, Caspi. Oh! Caspi, the tech speed, frenzy Vaughn. Okay. That one got one. This one got one too, but it, it's Minion. Minion Aura Warcry Attack Speed ES. Cool. What about this? This one's dead. And now, for the fun part. Uh, it survived one. Another one. No. The plus three. <laughs> All right. At least you got two workable ones. Rip. Rip the good one. Thank you for the content, Dennis. That was fun. Uh oh, my inventory is uh, two rows. Leave two rows. New viewer Gamba. We've done this once in the past, I think. He's trying to get silver or or gilden, gilded, golden oils out of a randomly dropped, randomly anointed jewelry with oil extractors. These seem to be five C. Even in bulk, kind of, yeah. So he spent two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighty times five, so four hundred chaos on this. Let's see if you can get more than that in oils. Can we just like shift click? No, because you have to. Oh, oh, first one, gilded, easy. Okay, red, blue. Okay, gold, gold, silver, god damn, silver again, silver again. Okay, when I say random, obviously he didn't just randomly pick shitty annoyance, he's looking for the stuff that already has at least one gilded or at least one silver on the on the oils that these annoyance have, of course. I, I didn't mean to imply that's like just random garbage. He is getting a lot of them, oh my god. I think he's already in the green, no? Actually, I don't know oil price. We'll check after. Red. That is uh, that is bad. That is clear. Gold again. Nice. Black. Oops. Oh, oops. You gave me one that isn't anointed. Silver. Silver. Mm -hmm. Black. Opal Ascent, not bad. Silver. Opal again. Silver. Gold. Silver. Very cool. Another gold. Another silver. Another silver. Another gold. Two gold. Back to back. Three gold. Four. Five. What? Six. What? <laughs> Jesus. This streak here. Gold, 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 gold. Silver, gold. Silver. Gold. What? Opal. Silver. Jesus. Gold again. Gold again. Okay. Extractor price. Chart with upwards trend. Wow. The end here was insane. Okay. What? Okay, he's got 20 Gilded Oils, 38 C each, let's say 40 in bulk, that's uh, 800 Chaos. That already doubles his uh, initial investment, unless these jewels are more... Actually, no, I guess you have to buy the jewels, they're probably 1, 2 C each at least. Silver, and the Opal is like the only value, I think. 
19 silver oils, which are 15 C each. Mm, more like 18, 19. Let's go with 18. That's another 342 C plus 800. He, f he self farmed the jewelry with uh, 100 maps plus Blight Guild Scarab. Okay. So he's up to a uh, 1.1k. And then a couple of opals. Three opals. They're probably like just, yeah, five siege. Okay, plus 15. So 1.1k minus the extractors. He made 750c profit. Plus some extra whatever oils, I guess. And even has some extractors left, which is 35. Yeah, he, he almost made um, 800 chaos. Very cool. GG. One of them was a, a fluke. Oh, and we get a 30c tip. Wow. Thank you very much. That was a that was a fun one. Quick jam gumba for spicy noodles. He has 11 empowers, fully leveled, and six anomalous molten shells. Now, for some reason, he forgot to finish qualitying these. I don't know if that's intentional. Probably not. It's uh. It's pretty important since you're doing anomalous. I'll sell you from Guild Bank. How much do you need? 6, 12, 32. Okay, give me like 25C or whatever. Okay, so we're back armed with the GCPs. Fix this quick and let's go. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. Plus one. Okay, nope, nope, yep. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so we get two out of 11. Probably average-ish. Maybe, maybe even a little better than average. And then the molten shells. Nothing. Plus three quality. VMS. That's good. Nothing. Nothing. VMS. Okay, he's got two VMS. 123 qual, no 21 Walton shell. I mean, VMS is the is the preferred outcome, right? How much are those? It's one divine, and then the empowers are 8.3 divine. So with current prices, 2,200 chaos plus for an empower. Wow, that is great. Here's the good stuff, and then here's the not so good stuff. Oh, tips 50c. Thank you. Yeah, we got some we got some good outcomes for him. Bob the Builder, an insane cat, corrupted mage blood card, and some life force. No, 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 not that. Sacrifice up to half. There we go. That's the search. Or half? Just half. Ah, oh, perfect. This is the first time I'm doing this because they introduced this change last league, so you can like trade life force and. I mean, I've done card gumbas for people, but you had to like farm up your own crafts and then go into a harvest. And now, yeah, this card is worth 15 and a half divines right now. And uh, yeah, I'm pressing the button. And now it's worth 30 divines. What now? Two, okay. Three. <laughs> and now, three. Nothing happened. Going again. One. Back to where we started, except minus 6k life force. One. Two. Two. Minus 10k life force and minus 15 divines. Could have been plus 30 divines, but you know, of course, you never know when to stop. <laughs> Thanks, Zeno, for sharing that. It was fun indeed. We got another card gumba. Two apothecaries. He says, start with two. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> apothecaries are. 44 divines each. So this is a 90 divine 
press the button. One sec. Okay, Bazooka Tank says wait. Then 10 seconds later, he says one sec. What's going on? Our Father who art in heaven, random by thy name, your races come, your strats be done by... Str no, stop! We just press the button and win, okay? Okay. Okay, next time. Okay, next time I'll pray. Sorry. There is two more apothecary cards. Start with one. Okay. No praying, no bullshit. We start with one this time. That was the problem last time. Okay. We have single apothecary. Goes in. Button press. And the other apothecary goes in. Or, or two apothecaries go in. Yeah, two apothecaries go in. And three comes out. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Just the one now. The new one. We'll put the new one in here. Okay, now we're down to two again. But now the two goes in. That is 250 divines. Bye. Fuck Harvest. Fuck Harvest. How could have Harvest done this?